I'm Charlene Miller. I'm Director of Clinical Laboratory Operations here at the Core Lab at Robo Road. And we are going to explain the process of what it takes to get a COVID result and all of the steps we need to follow through that entire process. An H&L courier picks the specimen up. Once the courier delivers the specimen here at Robo Road at specimen management, the triage person at the window takes that specimen and gives it to someone to order. The COVID specimen is ordered. It's labeled with a barcode label, and then it's placed on our robots, Bert or Bella, and then it's delivered to the molecular department. In January, we were receiving about 5,000 plus COVID specimens a day. We had an entire refrigerator filled with racks of COVID specimens. They were also placed in wash baskets. And at times we were receiving specimens in either cardboard boxes or garbage bags. I'd like to give a special thank you to my specimen management team. All of you went above and beyond and worked so many extra hours to get all of those COVID specimens through our specimen management department. Thanks, you guys are the best. Here in Molecular, we have a doorbell that rings to notify us that there's a specimen on the other side. One of our TAs. They'll go out to Bella, retrieve any specimen that are on it, and bring it into the department. The next step that they do is they track everything into the department. It's a critical step because everyone in the building needs to know where specimens are at the same time. The next step is we have to print labels because we have to get what's in the parent tube. That's what the uh, patient is like, sampled with. That comes to us and it doesn't get loaded directly onto the instrument because it's too large. So we have to take the specimen out of it and put it into a secondary tube. The secondary tube needs a label that matches the parent tube. So we print a label, put it onto a secondary tube, and then the technologist or TA will go into a hood and they'll pipette it into that secondary tube. Once we have a full like load of specimen, which is about 94 specimen, we put it through what we call a pass-through to get it to another section of the lab. It gets retrieved on the other side by another tech who will then load it onto the Cobos Roche 6800 or 8800 instrument, and that's where we process all of our COVID systems. The staff we have here in the molecular department at h &L Lab Medicine is just incredible. I couldn't ask for a better group of people. In January of 2022, it got pretty crazy here. We were used to processing 500 samples a day, and now we were getting 5,000 samples a day. They handled all the testing for COVID with a positive of the attitude and we couldn't ask for a better group of people. Yeah. <laughs>